Hey, what's going on? Welcome, Cave Dweller, to RJ's Cave, probably the most financially challenged guitar focused channel on all of YouTube. I'm RJ, and you are awesome. Thanks for joining me for this installment of Budget Gear Spotlight, the video series where we take a look at a piece of gear that we believe is an excellent example of what it means to be budget minded and quality conscious. Links for anything we share with you today can be found in the description down below, and links for video, previous videos in the series can be found right up there. Now, speaking of previous videos in the series, in our last two videos, we shared with you guys a couple of guitar brands that really did fly under the radar. We really can't say that about the guitar, the guitar brand in this video, though. The guitar brand in this video is an American guitar brand that happens to be owned by an American guitar brand. And their history includes the fact that, as I understand it at least, they were the first company to work with Eddie Van Halen, which means the whole Floyd Rose thing started with them, okay? The company I'm talking about is Kramer. The guitar I'm talking about is the Beretta, specifically for us here at RJ's Cave, the Beretta Special, okay? Now, when we take a look at the Beretta Special, we see a guitar that really is the essence of what it means to be a shredder. You have the mahogany body. You have the 22 fret maple neck with the maple fretboard. You have the six inline tilted headstock with the paint job that matches the body. You have the, the tilted humbucky pickup with just a single volume control. No other tone controls whatsoever because that would just increase the resistance on the way out to the output jack. And you have the tremolo system and that's it, okay? Interesting thing, the original Floyd, the original Floyd Rose equipped Beretta was decked. It didn't float, so it couldn't go both ways. So when you pick this one up, you can do everything that you can do on the original Beretta, okay? And it's only $179. That's a pretty awesome deal to me. But you know what's a better deal? Well, the, the Beretta standard, actually, believe it or not. This is a shredder that you can take out on the road, you can play, and you can keep for the rest of your life. It's a pro-level gear. It's only $700. Boom, okay? And I was actually going to share that with you guys today, but because it comes with a Floyd Rose, I kind of thought better of it, simply because I'm not that versed in Floyd Roses. I only have one guitar with a Floyd Rose, and it's the Floyd Rose Special. So if it comes down to comparisons of quality, I really couldn't tell you much. But I'm a New Yorker, and that means if I don't know something, I know a guy. And in this case, I don't just know a guy. I know the guy. I'm talking about Nick over at YouTube channel, The Axe. He's a guitar player. He likes to talk about guitars and gear. He's a shredder, so that tells me he knows a little bit about Floyd Roses. And he can tell you the difference between Floyd Rose Specials, the 1000 series, the 1500 series, all that. All right? If you haven't heard of him, do yourself a favor when we're done here. Down in the description below, there's going to be a link to his channel. Click that link, go over there, watch a couple of videos. If you do that, I'm not going to have to tell you to subscribe to his channel because you're going to do it on your own, all right? Because in my opinion, he's got the best new Guitar Gear channel here on YouTube, all right? But you don't have to take my opinion for it either because he's here and he's going to be helping us out by talking about the Kramer Beretta standard, all right? So stick around. Watch Nick. Let me know what you think at the end. Put it in the comments. Do you like Nick? You want to check out the axe? And then go over there and subscribe yourself. All right? As for right now, let's send it over to Nick. Hey, RJ, my man. How's it going? Hey, brother. Thanks for having me on the channel. And yeah, it's true. The Beretta line by Kramer is super interesting in regards to value. These no frill shred machines really established themselves as like metal staples back in the 80s and they continue to be tried and true to this day. Now I'm going to talk about the Kramer Beretta standard from the original collection um, after RJ just gave you that nice rundown of the special. The Beretta standard comes in at just about $800 new. At first glance it's really hard to tell the special from the standard as they both kind of have that zebra pickup and the dot inlays. But let me tell you the standard does come with some awesome legitimate upgrades. In regards to construction the Beretta standard is a maple body, a maple fretboard, and actually has a three piece maple neck. This is a big difference from the special because the special just has a one piece maple neck. Up at the top you have that signature Kramer headstock with some black die cast inline tuners. 
You'll see here that it also sports a completely black R2 Floyd Rose nut, which then brings me all the way down to the tremolo on this bad boy. The Beretta Standard rocks a Floyd Rose 1000 series. These are tremolos that have been designed off the original Floyd Rose from Germany and claim to use the same hardened steel and materials as those original models. Made in Korea, the Floyd Rose 1000 series usually comes stock on a lot of different guitar manufacturers and it usually cannot be bought directly from Floyd Rose themselves. Something to note is that the Beretta Standard does not come with a tremolo that is recessed. So this is a recessed trim. You see that cavity right behind the Floyd Rose? The Kramer unfortunately does not have that. Trims that are not recessed into the guitar body usually has some limited range of motion for pivoting of the trim, but also it still allows you to do dive bombs and things of that nature. Lastly, something I really like about this guitar is the quality and the simplicity of the electronics on this thing. Like the Special, the Standard rocks that tilted Zebra pickup and one volume knob. The only difference I guess is a really big difference is that the standard comes with an actual Seymour Duncan JB pickup. JBs are a favorite with a lot of metal players because of their versatility and they play nice with other modelers and pedals. In my opinion the Kramer Beretta standard is really a good deal being that you get a real Seymour Duncan pickup and a Floyd Rose 1000 series. Compared to Jackson out there who makes some similar priced guitars that come with a Floyd Rose special and Duncan design pickups, I think the Kramer definitely takes the cake. Alright guys, that's just my two cents. Let us know what you think in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to RJ's Cave. It's the best guitar channel on YouTube. Alright RJ, back to you. Thanks Nick, that was awesome. And thanks for doing it in the first place. We'd love to have you back anytime. As for the rest of you, see, what was I telling you? So when we're done here, you're going to go down into the description below, and you're going to hit that link, go over to his channel, and you're going to subscribe, right? Alright. <laughs> While we're talking about this stuff, if you're looking for more videos like this, the other links to the videos in this series can be found up here and in the boxes at the end of this video, okay? Also, if you'd like to help out the channel, you can subscribe, ring the notification bell, right? I mean, if you made it this far, hey, and since you made it this far, how about you smash that like button while you're at it? If you'd like to help us out further, you can give us a tip by smashing that super thanks button, or you can uh, buy some merchandise at the RJ's Cave store, or, you can join us and become a member and join us in the member members area. All, right, all those links are going to be in the description as well. All right? Now, I'm going to end this here. You guys have been awesome. I've been RJ. Thanks for coming. Until next time, take care. <laughs> Thanks for joining me for the very first live stream. I was wondering if anyone was going to show up. <laughs>